Hello and welcome to Viewpoint. My name is Volodymyr Sulhub and right now I'm joined by Ukrainian-born American Paralympic champion Oksana Masters and we continue our interview with Oksana. Hi. <laughs> Oksana, now that you've become the first ever American um, champion in uh, Paralympic Games in rowing and also you have a silver and bronze medal in 2014 Sochi Games, What's what's next for you? Are you preparing for the Rio Games? I am. That's that's my that's my goal. And um, but it's in a different sport. It's going to be my third Paralympic Games back like in a row, and it's going to be my third different sport too. So, and for what that, what's going to be? Uh, um, cycling, hand cycling, which is very different. <laughs> um, it's funny because all my sports, rowing is a one kilometer race, sprint all out. And then skiing, I had a hard time transitioning because skiing goes from 1K to 12K and it's a lot longer. And then cycling goes from 15K to 56 kilometers. And um, I love the challenge. I love being a student of something that I get to be in control of. And... Is this why you decided to, to try the new sports for, for the upcoming Olympics? You want to challenge yourself? You want to yeah. challenge your body? Yeah, you know, I really believe as an athlete, it's really important to, um, to put yourself out of your comfort zone. I think it's really, there's some people that just get so used to their thing. And um, I think that I, I can learn so much from skiing, from Nordic, that I can apply back to rowing and then vice versa. A lot of my rowing training and what I learned is helping me get that extra edge of the learning curve for cycling and for cross-country skiing. And as an athlete, I want to be as versatile as I can and have as many tools in my toolbox as I can. Oksana, can we talk a little bit about your personal life? Because uh, <laughs> following the 2012 London Paralympic <laughs> Games, uh, you were named as one of the 11 hottest Paralympic <laughs> athletes by MSN Now. Wow, that must have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, it did, uh, surely was written on your Wikipedia, Wikipedia page. <laughs> so um, you must have a lot of uh, fans. I, I do. I'm surprised by how many people think that, first of all. Um, and then to know I have that much support. But is there one particular fan in your life? Um, my mom's probably my biggest fan. I'd probably say, I don't know. <laughs> what, about, what about your plans after sports? What, are, what do you plan to do once you finish your career as, as an athlete? I definitely plan on going back to school and finishing that up and getting a degree. Um, and there's, you know, sports has opened my, um, has kind of helped me open my eyes to so many opportunities I have now in school and so many ways um, and so much support, financial support I can get and just life experiences will help me in school and um, that are just unteachable. And yeah, so go to school, maybe open up my coffee shop one day or um, business. Yeah, go into business. Are you a fan of coffee? Oh my God, I love coffee. Oh my, I'm, it's, I travel with my own coffee, my own hand press grinder that you have to grind your own coffee bean and stuff. So I'm, I'm a coffee snob, unfortunately. I understood. Well, that's, that's why I wanted to try the coffee here <laughs> yes. in our studio. <laughs> So, um, Oksana, you, you are now in Ukraine, and you, this is the first time you're here after you, you were adopted, after you left Ukraine when, at the age of seven. And just today, you were visiting a military hospital where there are a lot of young guys, probably guys who are younger than yourself, mm -hmm. who were fighting in Eastern Ukraine and who lost their limbs. What, what did you tell them when, when you were meeting with them? What, what you were telling them? Um, you know, what I was telling them is, honestly, things I kind of wish I had someone to tell me when I was going through their process and was in their shoes, and I never did. And, um, and I really wanted... Uh, it gives me goosebumps because it's really... Uh, it was such a sub... It just touches my heart so much, and it was so 
eye-opening to be able to look in their eyes and see, like, you know, just... Um, or I was just thankful for the opportunity to go and kind of show them the other side of where they are right now and what is able to happen. Um, and, you know, one of the things I told them is that it's, it's going to be hard, for sure. It's, there's going to be some tough days. But, um, you know, I think this is going to be through their new normal bodies and they're learning their new normal, I think they're going to be able to discover so much more strength in themselves, more so than they had when they were serving in the military. And that, um, that they're able to discover their hidden talents and that it's not just because you're missing a limb or you're mis missing your sight or you're missing your hearing doesn't mean you're your, your life is missing either. Like, you don't live and see the world through our bodies. It's through our heart, and it's through your spirit. And um, it's, it's just these, the, the, all your arms and stuff are just things. And... Um, Oksana, do you, hope, do you hope that your, your example, your story, would inspire them? Because it seemed at the beginning that everything was against you in your life. You, you, you were disabled, you were an orphan, but at the same time you managed to, 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 to pull yourself together, you, you managed to find your calling in life, you managed to find a purpose and, and see where, where it got you. you. You became a Paralympic champion. Do you, do, you, do you hope that your example would inspire yeah. them? Yeah, I think... What, um, what was, I was told I'd never be, I'm too small to be an athlete, I'm not good, and that, you know, oh, well, she's not going to make it that long, or, or I, people in the orphanage would be like, oh, well, your mom's not really want to love you, and things like that, um, and I kind of want to prove people wrong on every single stereotype that there is, that exists, and, and I hope that the guys in the military, the, um, in the hospital were able to see Maybe their fear of, oh, my God, my life's over because I can't walk anymore or whatever. It's, it's prove people wrong. You can walk. If you want to do it, nothing's impossible. It's the only thing that's ever going to stop you in this world is your mind, not your body. And um, I, hope, I hope that's one thing that they learn is that nothing is impossible. What did you personally feel when you were talking to, to, to these guys, to these young guys who a lot of them voluntarily went to the eastern Ukraine to, to, to fight and defend their country, their homeland, the country which used to be your homeland uh, at a certain point, and they, they, they were wounded, and a lot of them are in despair. Um, I felt... I mean, those are, you know, people say, oh, you're a hero, and those are the true heroes in the world. And... Um, it was it was really hard to I don't I don't know <laughs> um, you know it's it's I felt so much compassion and so much pain for them because I know what they're going through and I just want them to skip this next stage in their life of healing and recovering but at the same time this healing and recovering is going to be it's going to be hard but it's going to be how they find their new inner strength and rediscover themselves. And, um, and you know, it proves how much they love their home country and how much they love Ukrainian people to go out and voluntarily put their lives and their limbs on the line. And I pray to God that they will, are able to get some resources and help and you know, even if it's just somebody coming to visit them in the hospital and sitting with them and reading a book or whatever, um, yeah, I just, I just hope that they get the support that they really deserve. So, well, um, obviously your example is the most expir inspiring example for them. <laughs> so many thanks for, for finding the time to come and visit the soldiers and also many thanks, Oksana, for finding the time to come to, to our studio and talk to us 
It's been a real pleasure. This has been Volodymyr Solhufo Viewpoint together with Ukrainian-born American Paralympic champion Oksana Masters. Thank you for watching us. Thank you so much. Oksana, many thanks.